Uh, the scientific naming of organisms is a, is a concept that follows a certain principle that is known as binomial nomenclature. Uh, the word binomial uh, comes from using two names, using two scientific names to refer to a particular organism. And these two names that are used, we use the genus name and the species name. And the genus name comes first, then the species name comes later. So we are saying that uh, scientific naming follows the principle of binomial nomenclature which is assigning of two scientific names to an organism whereby the first name is the genus name and the second name is the species name. So the naming of organisms follows that concept that you are calling binomial nomenclature. The word nomenclature means naming. Binomial means using two names. Now, when coming up with scientific names, there are some rules that we follow. And uh, these are the rules of binomial nomenclature. First, the genus name must start with a capital letter, while all the other letters must be small. While the species name should be written in small letters. So that is one rule, uh, that the genus name should start with a capital letter and the other letters should be small. The species name, on the other hand, The species name, on the other hand, should be in small letters. Should be in small uh, letters. So that is the first rule. Rule number two, when scientific names are handwritten, they should be underlined separately, that is separately as two names, or when typed should be written in italics. So if the scientific names are to be handwritten, uh, they should be uh, underlined separately 
but when typed, they should be written in italics. Number three, sometimes the scientific name is accompanied by the pass by the name of the person who first discovered the organism so we are saying that this one is not in all cases but sometimes the scientific name is accompanied by the name of the person who first discovered uh, the organism. And we want to give an example. Uh, we have balanas, balanoids, linears. So the first two names are the scientific names, that is the genus name, and the second name is the species name. But the third name, which is not always there, is the name of the person who discovered this particular species. So we are saying that sometimes when you observe a third name, then you know that that is the name of the person who first discovered the, the, that particular species. Then rule number four, uh, the name of a newly discovered organism is sometimes Latinized according to the area where that organism was first discovered. For example, we have a name like Aloe Kilifiensis. This is the name of a, a particular species that was discovered in Kilifi. So that is to show that uh, the name of where that organism was first discovered is Latinized. Kilifi is Latinized. So those are the rules that uh, are applicable uh, when you're doing scientific naming of organisms. And uh, we'll have an example. We'll have an example of a few scientific names. So on this we'll have uh, the common name and then the scientific name. So you'll take a common name like maize. This is known as Zia maize. So Zia is the genus, should be in capital letter or should start with a capital letter. All the others, all the other letters small. The species name should be written in small letters. Because they are handwritten, they should be underlined separately. We have the scientific name for a lion, panthera, leo. 
we can have another example tomato is called lycopersicon esculentum so and the names must be underlined separately can also take an example mango mangifera indica So those are just a few that you can use to practice uh, the, the rules. Just to find that the names must be underlined separately. The first letter of the genus name should be capital.